we're going to get going here. Um, so this will be uh, setting up networking on the Paramount series. Um, so uh, at the end here, at the end of this here, we'll, there'll be a, a Q and A section. Um, so if you have any kind of questions, feel free to fire away. Uh, you'll be able to use the chat to write them in. And um, yeah, so essentially what I'm doing here now is I'm logged into one of our demo units. Okay, and I'm logged in from the web UI. All right, so the web UI and the local monitor, if you were doing this on the local monitor of a Paramount recorder, it would be kind of identical in terms of uh, button buttons after you get into your function panel. So on the web UI, it's called the function panel. On the local monitor, you're gonna have a circle of four squares in the bottom left. And you're gonna go ahead and click on that. <clears throat> and you're gonna go ahead and click on settings. Once you click on settings, uh, you'll have the same uh, button options here as uh, as I do okay um, that being said so you're gonna go to your function panel you're gonna go to your network tab okay and if you click on the network tab the big letters network it'll take you to your TCP IP tab which is where we are now this is where you can input your IP information so feel free to go ahead and enter in your IP info once your IP info is added in um, so you can do your IPv4, your DNS info. You can leave this on DHCP, um, or you can go ahead and put in a static address. So if you're going to be using the NAT server, a uh, static address, uh, a DHCP is fine to use. Uh, it's not going to affect anything. Reason being um, is uh, port forwarding is not needed for the QR code method for the NAT server. Okay, so if you were to do port forwarding, then yes, you'd want to set this to a static IP if you're going to do it in that fashion or using a DDNS. Okay, so once you have your IP information in, the easiest way to do this would be to go to your NAT. So your NAT tab here in the top left. Make sure this is enabled. After you enable it and hit apply, give it about 10 seconds and you should get a nice success message right here. Okay. Once you get the success message, you're pretty much good to go. Okay. Name the app is Paramount CMS. Okay. The name of the app, you would install this app on the Google Play Store or, or the App Store. Okay. Once you have that installed, uh, you'll open up the app um, and be prompted to scan this QR code. So you go ahead and you scan this QR code, you put in your username and your password of your recorder, and you are good to go. Okay, it will be added to your phone, it will be networked. Okay, now the other option would be if you were doing port forwarding uh, for let's say a DDNS or to utilize a WAN IP address. Um, so the where you would find those ports and that information would be under the port section here. So you go to port, you have your HTTP port, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to port forward this one. If you're doing that method, you would need to use your server port, okay? So you port forward that one as well. And you would also wanna port forward your RTSP port. Okay, once those three ports are forwarded, the app, when you add it to the app using a WAN address or a DDNS, the port that it's gonna use is the HTTP port, okay? Um, but it does utilize all three of these ports in order to work properly. So those are the three ports that you need forwarded if you're utilizing, again, a WAN address method, okay, or DDNS. Okay, to input your DDNS, if you're utilizing DDNS, it would be here, okay. We have a free one that we offer, okay, so you can simply come in here, select autoddns.com. You can put in your domain name, so you can just create a name here, and you'll be able to hit register, okay? Um, as long as the registration goes through and you get a connection success message, you're pretty much good to go here as well. Okay, and you can use this uh, entire address scheme here uh, to log into your device. All right, so that's just another method. Um, and then we also have a couple other third-party uh, DDNS services that we offer, which you can find in here.
And then one other thing that we wanted to cover here was networking this uh, to the CMS software. Okay, so this will be networking it via the CMS software now. Okay, so once you go to the home section in your CMS software, you'll go to resource management. And you're going to add your device. Go to add, you're going to go to manually add. And you're going to switch this from IP address to serial number. You'll put in your QR code number here, your username of your recorder, and your password of your recorder. Now, obviously, there's a couple other options in here. So if you want to utilize your IP address for the WAN, you can do that. If you want to use the domain name for your DDNS, you can do that as well. And once this is added in, you should have uh, an online message here under online status. And you can drag and drop your cameras in. That's just networking the CMS software as well. Okay, so at this time, we're going to take some Q&A. So if anybody has any kind of questions, feel free to jump in with uh, some questions. Um, but as far as the networking portion goes, that, that this is uh, a be all. And we will be sending this webinar out um, once it's done, so you'll have it handy. We also have a ton of good training uh, guides on our website. Um, so if you were to go to invidtech.com, and you were to go to support tab, okay. Now we have the training and demos video section. You got the knowledge base. Um, so you do, we really do have a lot of uh, good uh, tools and, and training things uh, for when you're on site for different things. So whether it be networking a device, whether it be, uh, you know, really whatever you're looking to do. If there's no other questions at this time, we're going to go ahead and uh, end this here. And uh, thank you everybody for your time and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.